<clears throat> All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Sons of the Forest. I hope everybody's having a great day. So... Uh, last episode, we went ahead and started building our walls. As you guys seen, uh, we're starting to get attacked a little bit more frequently by mutants. Uh, I've had quite a few of them building up outside of my base and, um, we got the wall like a third done. So today I'm going to try to, um, get the wall finished. That's like our top priority, but just because I don't want to be getting sieged by mutants or sieged by the cannibals and stuff like that. I want to make sure that we, we, we have our defenses set up. And then, um, once we get that set up, I am going to go ahead. We're going to get a like fast travel network set up, going to a couple of, uh, key points around the map. I want to, I'll show you guys what I have planned for that. Um, and then we're going to just get some shelves, some storage, um, uh, set up and all that and then we're going to go ahead and get everything at our base squared away so uh let's get to it well uh, first things first though like i said we got to get more calvin calvin move uh we got to get a bit more done with the wall throw these up damn how many sticks did i have on me How do I have 30 plus sticks? I thought the limit was like 16. There we go. <clears throat> I had like infinite sticks on me for a second there, chat. <laughs> so many sticks. Um, Alright, so yeah, first things first, let's get up. We'll get some logs cut, and then, uh, we're gonna need a lot of sticks, though. We're gonna get him collecting logs. Fill the holders. Let me see. So what time is it right now? It is one in the afternoon, so we got a few hours of daylight. Making a nice clearing here. It's a beautiful day today, guys. It's a beautiful day. I'm pretty sure this is sticks. So, be careful. Um, the trees can not break your structures. It's not a huge deal. Uh, it sucks a little bit because I lost the zip line. Trying to make a nice clearing here. There we go. Yeah, we, uh... We totally just ruined our zipline. But it is what it is. Yeah, this should be good. This is nice. I'm gonna destroy all these stumps, because I don't want the trees to regrow here. I want to keep my zipline paths nice and clear. Uh, Far Cry 6 game. Um, like when am I playing Far Cry 6? Uh, it's, it's 
soon. It's it's one of the games that's uh, definitely going to be more um, immediate. <laughs> I can't put exact time, so I have no clue. Alright, so this should be good. Beautiful. Looks good to me, guys. I'm gonna get some logs cut really quick. Uh, can you actually craft any tools? Oh, yes, you can craft, uh, certain tools for sure. Uh, not everything is found. The best stuff is found, though. You know, like the modern axe and things like that. Much work going into making a clearing. Oh, nice. I'm really happy that actually turned into logs. Okay, so our next zip line is going to be about here, but I got to make sure that we can still reach. So this is about the limit of the range. Got it. Shit. I don't have the other part built yet. Gotta build the other section really quick. And then oh, one more log, and we are good. Here we go. All right, let's get this lined up. There we go. <clears throat> well, you got me playing uh, the first forest. Wish I had a uh, PC to play this one. Yeah, man. Hey, survival games aren't for everybody. You know what I mean? They're my favorite genre by far. Um, but this one will be. I know a lot of people in the in the in the comments and stuff have been you know ta saying they wish this game was on console. Um, it is going to be coming out on console. Uh, this was the early access release. Um, that's the only reason why it's on PC only. But there will be a console release once it goes full uh, release. They still have. Imagine this is like the state of the game beta. You know what I mean? Like they're they're kind of they released it. They want to work out some more bugs, but they didn't want to delay the game fully again, and they wanted to get you know player feedback to try to make the game even better before full release. So I know it sucks for you know people who are on console that you gotta you know wait longer, but. I wonder if Kelvin's gonna come and grab these logs, or is 
Is he just gonna be a bum about it? Sorry, right, I'm gonna get a few of them uh, down there. And then I'll give him another order so he starts. Picking him up again because I'm pretty sure he stopped because I ran out of logs. Oh no, okay, so he still is working. Yeah, my man's down there. He's still working, chat. All right, we're good. We're good. We are going to be running out of daylight here soon. I actually bought the first, uh, the first one finally because he's been playing it. My man Caspi's playing a survival game? Get out, dude. My boy. We're bringing him over to the dark side, chat. We'll win him over one day. He's I haven't started it though. It's funny how they're hitting the, the zip line on this now uh, because I have the, the line pretty high and they're kind of just shooting off the front, which kind of works out nice because Kelvin will then just grab them. I should actually uh, equip this to my backpack that way I don't have to keep pulling it out every single time. And they're rolling down the hill. What is Calvin even doing, chat? What about the ones that are already over there, bro? Let me see what he does. Yeah, multiplayer gets at the instance also. Uh, I checked the stats on the fireman axe. It didn't seem like it was any better than uh, the one we currently have. It actually seemed like it did less damage. Right, you got to be careful because the one thing I did realize, if you get too many resources stacked up in one area, they do start falling through the ground. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of what happened to me last time when I had all these logs over here. I sent down like a billion of them, um, and then they started getting 
in the ground. So, just doing a few at a time. Let's see another log over here. It's starting to get dark, that little weird dusk time of day where it's actually the hardest to see. Set that up. Send it down. So the thing is, you can actually send um, stuff up zip up the zip lines too. Uh, can you make a ladder or stairs going uh, up to the cliff? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Might actually have Kelvin um, do the cutting, and then I'll do the log transportation. It'll probably be a bit more efficient, you know what I mean? And I know you can tell Kelvin to um, clear an area. So that's what I'm about to try to do right now. Actually, we'll, we'll see what... Just so you guys can get an understanding, too, of how it works. Have him follow us. We're getting a little thirsty. We'll stop over at the water, grab a drink real quick. Now, the crazy thing, I think, is the original Forest game, that didn't even come out on Xbox ever, right? When it released on console, I think it still only went to PlayStation. I'm not sure, though. Like, so don't quote me on that. No Xbox at all? Uh, what time is it? We might wait till the morning. It's getting pretty damn dark outside. Yeah, it's getting dark. We'll throw a couple uh, while we're waiting. We'll just throw a couple logs down. We'll finish this in the morning. I was gonna have Calvin clear the area, but we'll have him. We'll have him do it in the morning. Yeah, I got Virginia armed. She's got a gun. Uh, she's actually up at a point, I think, that she wants me to go to. So I think I said I was going to go about five more. See how wide this looks. Yeah, I'll do one more log. And then we'll start coming down. Like that. It's getting mega dark now. I 
So let's get some sleep, wake up, continue in the morning. If you destroy a cannibal camp, they will never respawn there again. Oh shit, Flashy, that's that's pretty legit. I do have a couple cannibal camps close by too. I'm gonna get my uh, suppressed pistol and my my stealth armor. We're gonna go over there and Sam Fisher him. Let's get a little bit more of the wall going here. I feel like I should have went a little wider on it, but let me see. Maybe. I want this front courtyard to be a bit bigger. I think I might go a little wider on it just in case. I want to uh, expand the base a little bit. Right now, my my actual base is quite small, and I do want to you know I'll cut a, I'm going to cut a door into it. I want to I want to extend it out a little bit, make it bigger. That'll work. We're going to get some breakfast after I place a couple more logs. Oh, we'll eat right now. with the super chat um that area is great a lot of resources close and only a couple camps near you to deal with uh good yeah i i i, I gotta admit i i do like this area um i got nice and lucky spawning by the beach uh so yeah i've, I've been here pretty much since the the start i heard horror stories of a lot of you guys being spawned up in the in the snow biome or in the in the mountains or right in the middle of the forest next to cannibal camps I sit here and I look at that, I'm like, yo, I, I had it luck. I was definitely lucky. Yeah, it's coming along. Uh, like I said, I want to make sure we get it done. Because uh, if, if, if I... As you can see, we got mutants up there. Um, if I take my time and, you know, focus too much on exploration, which we have did a lot of the past two episodes, uh, I'm going to fall behind on my base, and then, you know, the seizures are eventually going to get so bad. And I'm not going to have any way to defend myself. That's why I'm making sure I just get this done now. I know it's not the most interesting, especially for you guys to probably watch. <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to make sure we get it done. Now, let me see here. This is not going to interfere with my zip line, is it? I think the zip line should be good. That area is great. Lots of resources close and only a couple of camps <sighs> near you to deal with. Good FOV2. But again, Uro, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate this, Superman. Yeah, that's good. Once the walls built, I'm gonna I'm gonna be redoing these. Um, I'm gonna probably put this log zip line over here a bit more. Yeah, I'll probably have it over here a bit more. Um, and then this will just be where all my log holders are for when I want to, you know, expand on the base. Okay, so I'm already out of logs completely. Um, let's get the rest of our defensive spikes cut.
We will rebuild civilization. One defense spike at a time. Can you swim in the ocean? Oh yeah. There's sharks in there though. <laughs> So I'd keep it to the lakes and the ponds, you know? Mutants up there where I'm going to be cutting wood. We're going to have to deal with him. Okay, so we're like definitely, I'd say probably more than halfway done. I'd say two more, two more trips with these logs and we'll be in good shape. So let me get my, uh, let me get my weapons situated here because I'm going to swap. Yeah, we'll swap that for the crossbow. I have guns. Yeah, I got a shotgun. I got a handgun. I got a crossbow. Good, good miss. Takes about four shots from the crossbow to kill one of these guys. And the cool thing is crossbow's silent. And these guys are blind. They, they only hunt off uh, hearing, so... Yeah, going for the knee works. Uh, I'd definitely say do that if they're on to you. But yeah, they're nice. Easy to take down. So we're going to have Kelvin follow us up here. And we're going to see if he'll clear an area. Trees. Winter time's coming, guys. Uh, the cannibals will take out the mutants, for sure. It's on the clear 20 meters. See what he does. Thank <laughs> you. 
So much movement in the wind right now. It's hard to tell. I think that might be the only bit of them right now. Nope. Oh yeah, my man is definitely cutting down trees super efficiently. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be the log transporter because I, I think I'm fa obviously faster than him because I use the zip lines. Okay, so I, I think I see what's happening here. I think there's a limit to how many logs can be on the ground or something, because all the ones I just sent down here are gone. So I'm going to have him stop cutting trees for a minute. He's got like 10,000 logs on the ground right now. All right, step, step, step. Yeah, you can hear the logs when they're falling through the world. You'll hear like a splash. So I'm going to command him to come over here. People follow me. So I'm going to tell him to gather logs and literally drop them here. Get logs and drop here. Probably be a little easier for him.
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down. He's in the, he's gonna start getting some logs together for us. The cool thing is it though, it does seem like Kelvin can pull logs that fall through the floor. He can pull them back out the floor somehow. I'm going to build a couple more log holders here. Go with... Courtney, how you doing? Yes, so the plan is working, chat. Man, cut down a lot of logs. I I know people were saying you can you could do log storages, yeah, or the logs like so that they fall into the storage or something like that. But that's wicked specific, it seems. I'm going to have to figure out how that works. Right now, what we got it works. I mean, Kelvin's really good at cutting the trees, but you, I, I think you want to only have him do it a little bit. Um, just so, like, you know, the logs don't start falling through the world. You can see he cut down all this, and it's really, really good. All right, he's being an idiot now. He's picking up the ones that I'm sending down, and he's trying to put them right there. Now that I moved those other two log storages, though, they... Let's see what I got to deal with. Do I have a vacuum robot mop? N no. I don't even know what you mean by that. Tell me, like, one of those little circle dudes that, like, go around your house. We used to have one of those things. Super bad, though. <laughs> and it, it got, like, stuck under the couch. Thank you, guys. You can't bring Kelvin anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can just sweep the floor ten times faster than that little robot. All 
We are filling up nice, nice on our log storages over here. Still got a few more that we can fill. I'm gonna do build a couple more. No, don't do it, dude. He's he's trying. He's going for it, Chad. He's he's going for it. Yeah, he ain't fast enough, Kelvin. <laughs> that man. I feel like I'm working hard. I think I, I don't know. It feels like I'm working against myself sometimes with Calvin. Here's some more logs falling through the universe. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I actually almost shit myself right there. <laughs> Broke his armor off. Oh, good shit, dude. You're trying to make up for... I lost a lot of bolts right there, chat. Calvin just, he's a cannibal, chat. He'll eat people. Just no problem. The part of Calvin's daily, and then he'll just lay on their body. Like, you think, you guys say I'm a savage. Look at Calvin. He gives no bucks. Dude. Yeah, a good bit of logs over there.
That man is beyond savage, okay? He's eating people on a consistent basis. Yeah, we're gonna have- we're gonna be able to get most of the wall done with this, I feel. I might have to do one more- ooh. Crossbow is so lethal in this chat. I love it. As long as you hit hit them in a spot where they don't wear armor, you can pretty much kill them in one shot. Um, even if you hit them in the chest. I really hate you sometimes, dude. Got a big guy. He's on his way up. See how he's pulling him out of the abyss there? the big guy over there. Oh, fuck it. We got a little legion. The See, this is why we need to get the damn walls done, chat. What the hell? Getting fucking swarmed right now. Get my machete out. Kelvin's, I think, being chased by one of those dudes. He ran off. That big mask guy, I think he's chasing Kelvin right now. Let's see if we can get our hands on a few more logs. It is getting, gonna be getting late soon. 
It's already four o'clock, guys. It's already four o'clock. Might be all the logs here that he cut. Yeah. Be careful, I don't take out my damn zip line again. Armigat with the gifted member. Thank you so much. How you doing today? And uh, whoever receives that, welcome to the family. There's Calvin. He's back. No, 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 no. Stop. Um... Come follow us for a sec. There's that big guy that chased Kelvin. He's up there in the... We should probably go take care of him, because he's going to probably go muster some more troops and come back after us anyways. But it's about to be dark, so... So this is all the logs we got to work with. I got almost all of my uh, holders filled. We're going to tell him to go around and collect some sticks. And uh, fill the holders. Go get some sticks and fill holders. I think we'll be able to get the whole side here done with this. And all we'll have left is the backside connecting to that. I'm going to have to run that over though so I can make sure it's lined up. These logs go quick, chat. Alright, we'll finish this in the morning. It's 
Like you spend so much time gathering them, and then they're just boom. It's they're just gone. We're gonna start running this piece down. Yo, we actually might be really close to being able to finish this with what we have. Definitely only one more run. And I want to thank you all for all the new subscribers to the channel. Seriously, it means it means a lot. Yeah, we're gonna be making spike traps um, once we get the the walls done. That's why I have. Uh, whoops. What the hell? Where did I just take this? I think it took it from inside. Um, I don't know where I just took this lot from, guys. Whatever. Um, that's why I got him gathering so many sticks too, because yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have spike traps all over. Hopefully they. Don't attack us anytime soon. I want to get this done. There he is. They wasted no time attacking me today. We dropped another guy over here, right? It was this guy and that guy. Okay, so I think the other two ran off then. The stick holder's full, man? What this room? Needed another head. Doesn't seem like my intimidation methods are working all that well, though, Jay.
And again, thank you so much. All the new subscribers to the channel, I really appreciate you guys. Um, you, don't, you don't understand how much that means. Yeah, the head thing really doesn't seem like it's working much, right, Casby? We're gonna have to get creative and build some effigies. Get out of here. He ate the arm that I chopped off. Or no, he did. He was eating the body. All right, let's get something to drink. Hungry and thirsty. I got sidetracked. Might actually have to uh, pop an energy drink or something for today. We did such a bad job uh, eating and drinking when we first woke up. We wasted so much stamina. Kelvin does eat from the body. He's like a savage, man. I, I can show how to build a door later on when I... Because uh, I'm going to be cutting a door... <clears throat> For my baseball, I don't know how to build doors in in, in the walls. I, I I still haven't figured that out. I don't know if there is one programmed into the game yet. Might be something they're working on, but yeah, for right now, I don't know how to do gates. Oh, uh, that looks like a big guy. Get close, guys. There's a rope thing to climb over the wall. See, it, that will work for me. I do remember seeing something about a rope on the wall. There it is. Yeah, you build like a little archway and then you... Also build a rope bridge. Yeah, we're only... We're only going to have to do about one more. One more bit of, uh, one more run of logs, I believe, and not even that many. Maybe like 10, 15 more logs. If that. It. Maybe like fucking six or seven. We're almost there. That's it, guys. That is all that's left, man. Uh, that's what I was thinking about doing is just building a door in front of the opening. Uh, that was my original plan. Uh, but the thing about the door is the... 
It seems like the cannibals can just, like, open it. Like, no problem. Deal with this dude. Go ahead and pop this energy bar. Uh, you can't cut the heads off those dudes for some reason. At least you can't pick them up. I don't know. Maybe you can cut their heads off. Let me check. I remember trying to cut one before and I couldn't like cut him up. This guy's got the Jason Voorhees that face though. Yeah, so you can't cut those dudes up. Uh you can't because you can't eat them or or cut their legs off and use them. You can only do it to the regular guys. Are cannibals or mutants worse? I would say the mutants, because they, uh, they don't, like, run away or anything like that. They're very persistent. Right, so we just need a few more logs and we'll be good. That little dude's head off. Logs or st yeah, sticks. Then we're going to have to work on our fast travel network that I was talking about. Um, I want to be able to get a... We're going to set one up to get us to a few of the different underground bunkers, like where the... Uh, Where the printer and stuff is, and get set up for uh, two, two, two networks for that. That's gonna be a little bit of a process, though. I think, but we should be able to get it done. Yeah, winter time is coming for sure. Yeah, snow's gonna be here soon.
That was a good tree. See if this is enough to at least finish the wall. But then we can start on the spikes. Good. Of course, I had to fall right in the way. We have exactly enough, guys. <laughs> yeah. There it is. All right, nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the rest of the... We're going to cut the defensive spikes in. And then we're going to go set up the... Uh, we got to go set up the traps in our entrance. And now we also got to start lining the outside here. There it is, though. We got that shit done. Yeah. Took us a while, though. It was definitely quite the in endeavor. And again, thank you for all the subscribers. I appreciate it. Yeah. And uh, guys, we're almost at 500 sure. likes already. Thank you, thank you. George, what's up with the super chat, man? Thank you, thank you, man. Uh, what's up, Doug? Uh, make the only way in through zip line. Hmm. Yeah. See, the only reason why I was okay with having an entrance was to funnel them into traps. George. That was like kind of my mindset about it, but I'm going to actually build a gate. We are going to build one. Um, because if I don't, if I don't have an entrance, I, I don't think Kelvin will be able to get in and out because he doesn't zip line. So he'll just kind of be permanently stuck. The architect achievement. Yeah. Yeah. 
There it is. Here it is. All right. So now I'm going to load up. I'm not going to waste any time with this. Let me see, how does this work with the... Okay. I had the stick facing... I don't, I don't know which way I have to make the stick face. We'll figure this out right now. So does it go away from the direction I'm facing? Use the axe, I think, to build these. Yep. Yeah, so they face away from the direction you're facing. Got it. Switch to this. Wonder why this trap can't be placed there. Fine, we'll just line this whole front area with spikes. It's gonna give us a hard time.
Gonna be a moat of spikes, chat. You gotta be careful if you step on them. Could have probably did it coming this way. <laughs> Would have been a little easier. Careful, yeah, you walk into these fucking things, they hurt. <laughs> so we're gonna do it this way, which is the way I should have done it initially. So you work backwards, it's so much smarter. I never claimed to be intelligent, guys. Now the thing is, uh, this rock here kind of sucks because they can walk onto the rock, so I need to see if I can actually spike out this rock also. Yes! Awesome, I can. This is my, uh, my death stick mount moat. I think it looks good on that side, at least. Oh, uh, Tojo, brother, I'm sorry, man, if I miss you. Super, uh, will there be a search and rescue for Virginia? Uh, well, I know where she is. I got her marked. Uh, Tojo with the, uh, GPS thing. She's just kind of standing near a heli crash. I think she wants me to go there and check it out. Um, but yeah, we'll be heading out there. And Tojo, I'm sorry about that, brother. Thank you, thank you. Gotta take care of that, <laughs> that three-leg bodyguard. Yeah, I gotta, I'll, I'm gonna be heading out and getting her once we get the, the base squared away.
Okay. So it's quite a good front right there, I believe. Now, I would like to have traps in the gap over here, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So there's obviously going to be a little bit of a gap. Um, because if not, I wouldn't be able to craft them how I wanted to. So yeah, I think the traps need to be on like a perfectly flat surface or something. Sakari with the super chat. Uh, Salambro, give Virginia the shotgun for defense. Uh, she doesn't need ammo for it. And she's the beast with it. Yeah, I've got to get another one. Uh, I haven't seen her since I I, I acquired the shotgun. Uh, but yeah, that is the plan. I'm going to give her give her back to Shadi. Let me see something real quick. If... I wonder if you can reinforce these. Oh, you can reinforce the spikes. Yeah, you can you can uh, reinforce the base of them too. dark out so I would love to get a trap down like right here hey there Brian 
Try using a diamond there we formation go. and place rocks at stick space to reinforce. I'm glad you're playing and not me. No trap near WTR. Hey, Grace, I think I, I literally just I think I literally just did that too. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate the the super chat and the tip. Oh, we got to get some rope, um, some more stones, some sticks. Some rope. Yeah, stones have been something I haven't really been using much of. We gotta get the torches up too on the walls. Oh, needed one more. It's getting really, really dark out though. At least finish the trap. So we got a trap there. Still got to build like the serpentine. We're going to have to do that. In the morn. How do you guys think it's coming out, though? It's decent, right? Proud of it. I said, I still got a lot more to work on uh, defense wise around the base. We got to get more spikes up everywhere. Now, I think these traps work when they step like whips up this way like guess that's what it looks like what it does inside the base So we're going to get some stuff on the back side here, too. We've got mutants. And I'm going to end up moving this zip line.
Let me see about this fly swatter trap. Can I do another one here? If I have them sideways, they'll still flick up no matter what. So I think even having them sideways uh, along the side of the bait, the wall like this would still work, right? If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that's... Still not 100% about how those traps work. Uh, the Gamer, thank you so much for the super chat. It's hard to be a YouTuber depending on where you live. Is it hard? Uh, I don't think it matters. No, I mean, there's you guys all over the world that are YouTubers, you know. I don't think uh, where you live matters. Because uh, no matter where you live, there's people that watch YouTube. No matter what country. Okay, I need six more... Six more sticks. Okay, we got a big chieftain dude over there. We got a uh, mutant right there on the side of the wall. Spiking it up back here, Chan. <laughs> Spiking it up. go. Get some more traps down here.
That was a bone maker, so that sets people on fire. So another fly swatter there. The fly swatter there. I just gotta figure out what the hell we're gonna- yeah. We're gonna figure out what the hell we're gonna do with this. Got a storm coming in. Definitely how it works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to finish up this back. I'm not going to do this side yet. We'll work on that later. It's really raining. I got to build some stone holders so we could eventually go around and reinforce all these traps. Gracie, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, second door trial log. Uncut to put a header. How did I do mine? I know I had an uncut log up on mine before. I don't know if it was proper though. Well, Gracie, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to build up some uh, stone holders. have Kelvin start working on this project.
Ouch. Grab these, or reinforce what we can. Alright, so we're about to start our new project, which... This stuff in here right now is good. I'll move it around later on. Full. All right, let's head out. Crossbow and X. Hoping you guys like like this next bit of uh, stuff we do here. It's gonna be. I, I think it's gonna be cool. there. Let me just set off one of my traps. I heard it. Out here, chat. They're after us. Sakari with another super chat. Uh, use a rope on the side of your cavern. There is the top. I was gonna build stairs, but I actually might use the rope. It might be.
go reset some of my traps. One over there got set off. Did it get a kill? Yes, it did. And it took his damn head off. Perfect, guys. Yeah, I like I like this. Yeah, I was gonna build stairs, but I think it might be easier if I just use the rope. Appreciation for holding back at times to watch cannibal behavior. Hey, Cosmic, thank you so much, man. I, yeah, I, I'd like to, you know, see what it's all about instead of just rushing in and killing everything, you know. They spend a lot of time on the AI, so why not observe it, you know what I mean? But, uh, Sakari and, uh, Cosmic, guys, thank you for the supers. I really appreciate it. Damn crooked. Now I'm doing this for science, chat. This 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 part is here for science. I could just make it easy, but I I, I want to figure out how to do these stairs. Am I going to do the lookout blueprint? I don't know what that is. Oh, you mean like a what? Like the watchtower? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if I'll do it on top of my base per se. All right, let me see. Hold on. What did that say? Hey, I was halves. I thought. How do you place it? Maybe it had to be a hole? Oh, I think it did have to be a whole log. And then the up. <laughs> drunk man, you see? Yeah, he looked drunk. He was just standing there like. Close to the house. Of course it is. Of course it is. Nothing can ever be simple, right, guys? Trying to build stairs on the back side here, but it's giving me such a hard time.
Like that's gonna be crooked. They might be halves for the steps. They might be... Well, they're not halves. That's uh, three... Are they three-fourths? Really? <laughs> it's not given... Uh, hold on. What is this? Yeah, it's not giving me... Uh, hold on, here we go. That gave me the auto-cut option. So they're full-blown halves. Cut this down into firewood. Wait, I think I'm building a ramp, chat. This is totally a ramp. I mean, a ramp will be okay. Not what I was trying to build, though. Just gotta go get a couple more logs. We're learning it, chat. We're learning. And then I'm gonna do a little platform after the stairs. I could have just built a rope, but I wanted I wanted to figure out how to do the other stuff too, you know. Yeah. So we get a little complex with our builds.
Damn, it's already getting freaking late. It's taking us a good bit of days to get this build done. Grabbing a couple extras because we're going to need them for the platforms, too. That's all of them. Oh shit, I forgot I got rid of the uh zip line. Trap, did I catch something? No. Yeah, I'm gonna be making well that's what we're that's what we're doing right now. We're setting up our new zip line. Uh because it's gonna be it's gonna be way way cooler than it was. Well at least my my plans for it. No, we're not looking for Timmy again. No. <laughs> you guys think I would have left Timmy out there by himself for this long? So what do I have right here? Is that a full? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so drop one there. We'll drop one there. Then we're going to lift them up. Watch Raptor. I mean, I watch Raptor. The thing is, I don't want to watch anybody playing this game yet because I, I kind of want to figure out, you know, a lot of this stuff on my own or, or at least with chat. Um, watching somebody do it, just, I don't know, it just kind of takes it all away for me for the most part. So I like, I like just working it out with you guys and struggling to figure it out. I might be a little slow to get it, but I get it eventually. When I want to get super sweaty and then I'll start watching videos when I really want to like get super, super good. Then we'll do the floor here. Getting super dark. So I'm going to need another... I'm 
Probably like six logs. We'll get those in the morning, though. Need a half, a little bit of a piece there. See, that's not perfect, but gets gets us on the roof. We got good sight lines. That wall right there is probably the hardest thing for us if we needed to shoot. But we could shoot from here, too. With a bit more elevation, though, we'll, we'll have good sight lines. I don't know why I half expected to wake up today to snow. Why have I not been attacked? I've been attacked plenty of times. Plenty of times. I'll bend the kid with the super chat. Just remember um, that you can zip line logs if you don't. Oh, no, Benny, I've been zip lining. That's how we've been getting all the, the logs to our base. Um, but I tore down the end zip line um, a little premature. I had one that was going from here to down there, and I tore that one down, um, unfortunately. But, uh,. I'm going to be remedying that situation here in a minute. I think this might be a stick tree. Maybe. Awesome. Gonna be remedying that situation right now. Oh. Fix. It might have just been a log that was moving around over there. I thought it was gonna. I thought it was a, uh, a little dudes. No, nope, maybe it was a little dudes. Okay, we got cannibals coming.
hope this works. I'm hoping it works. I only need one more log bit for this, so I'm going to get these, uh... stored up so we don't lose them. And I do want to thank you guys for almost 700 likes on this stream. Uh, yes, we just did uh, Arc Stream last night, brother. Okay. So, now we're going to start our fast travel network here. Um... How many of these do I have? Six. Okay, good. Beautiful. So we're going to start heading up north. Trying to make this go as far as I can. I tried doing the zip rope, the zip line rope really far, but you lose the little marker. I don't even know if I'll be able to do it from here. Oh, let me drop these logs real quick. See? You lose the marker at like a hundred, about a hundred meters. I'm even showing on the wall there. Walk it to the spot. We could try you that. You said that later you will watch videos to seriously increase your gaming ability. You already operate at a level most of us won't achieve. Take some credit. There it is, Brian Menard. There it is. Army guy, I really appreciate that. No, I, yeah, what I mean is it's like... Like, a lot of people, if they have questions on how a game works or how to build something specific, they'll watch a video for it. Um, generally, I, I don't like to do that until I hit a certain point where I'm like, all right, yeah, you know, I've, I've reached about the max that I'm going to be able to achieve on my own. Now let me go to outside. And, I, you know, I've only been playing the game for three days or whatever. So um, I feel like, you know, I could probably I still have potential to grow um, before I have to, you know, reach out. But I, I really appreciate you, Armageddon. Seriously. Okay, so we're going to test this right now, see if I can walk this down. Oh, oh if you right-click, you release it. Got it.
Oh, this thing can reach super far. Alright, so we're gonna try to go even further with it. If I can, I would like to get on that big rock right there. Up. Oh, this is gonna be awesome, guys. Well, the problem is if I go from the roof, I can't pick up the log and place it. Um, that's the issue. Unless I just connected it to like a random tree or something like that. But I don't know if you can like zip line to a random tree. This is a good spot right here. This will be our first... Connection point. We're getting our, our death stranded on. <laughs> yeah, we're setting up our fast travel network right, right now. And the best part about it is you can travel both directions on zip lines. I didn't know you could go this far with the damn zip lines, guys. This is freaking awesome. Oh, you're saying it might be a little close to the edge? We'll test it. We'll see. I had placed that quite close to the edge. It works, though, for now. Grab my other log. So what I'm doing, guys, just so you so you guys get an understanding, is that point up there, the little green circle that you see on my my map. I want to. That's an underground bunker with the printer and stuff like that. I want to be able to travel to that point really, really quickly. Just boom, go up there, do printer stuff if I have to, come back, um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. I'm just gonna have fast travel points to points of interest. Um, that way we can go back and forth quickly. I have another log over here somewhere. There it is. Right, let's head out. Obviously, just cut a damn another one. We can just have our own little fast travel network. I'm going to try to see if we can get this one really, really far. I'm actually going to destroy the cannibal camp that was over here, too. Keep them from respawning. But this way. That's pretty far.
Okay, so now I might actually have to cut some trees in order to get the angles we want. Yeah, so we got to get rid of those two trees right there. Really, Calvin? Yeah, we'll get rid of those two trees right there. We'll just set one up right here. Why are you here, bro? Cut this one just in case. Have I found aloe yet? I personally haven't found any, um, but Virginia finds it for me sometimes. Winter is almost upon us, chat. Oh, shit. it was that I'll just chop these two Should be perfect. I'm on a shotgun ammo for the most part.
There's that cannibal camp I wanted to clear out. So I can still see our log from right there. I'm gonna have to take out maybe this tree. Got a whole group of trees we need to cut. How far up are we though already? Oh shit! Nice, we're almost there, guys. I think I have a. I, have, I should have more than enough zip, zip lines to finish this.
Fighting down the forest, Chet. For, for fast travel purposes. This one, got a baddie down there. Somebody trying to go back to camp. He's just patrolling. Okay, he's moving on. How does that work? Uh, he has what's called an ascender. Um, it's it's like a mechanism that you attach to a zip line, and it has a bunch of like a like a reel in it, and it just you just kind of move with it. Plenty of games that have them in it. So this one's gonna be pretty flat. It's basically magic. Oh, I missed. to make a bat oh, or a pass over to the crossbow cave so I can get or the crossbow underground layer so I can get some more bolts All right, I gotta make sure I keep my eyes uh, okay there it is I was like where the hell I lost my uh my zip line post but it's right there now this one should be able to pretty much bring us the rest of the way Yep, perfect. So we'll do the post right here. And there it is, guys. To think this whole thing brings us all the way back to base. Thank you. 
Oh, this one was too far. Seriously. Damn it. I have to shorten it by a bit. This last one we got to short, shorten a little bit, but it's all good. build the buffer between I, I thought about doing that but like it's a it's a whole entire zip line feels a little wasteful for like 20 feet you know Let's see if they come at me Now that guy's got some the uh, creepy armor on his head, so we don't want to shoot him in the face. Get him right in his chest. Yeah, you gotta watch where they had the armor on, because if I would have shot him in the head, it wouldn't have killed him, but he had no armor really on his chest, so I was able to kill him with a shot to his chest with the crossbow. All right, so it's getting dark. We're going to probably spend the night in this hatch here. I'm going to print up some more zip line things and some more arrows. I wouldn't mind giving the uh, compound bow a go. Oh, nice. We just got a zipline rope for free. Paper targets. We just got practice targets, guys. That's the first time I've ever seen that.
laser sight after we lost our last one. <laughs> Some more arrows crafting up. This is probably one of the more underwhelming bunkers. But this one's nice because we are uh, close to our base and we can just come up here to craft stuff. I don't know if you can craft bolts. I'll actually check. Maybe you can craft crossbow bolts. For some reason, I think now that I'm not, I don't know. Arrows, flash, mask, grappling hooks, tech mesh, sled. Yeah, so only arrows that I can see. Yeah, but we need these uh, bolts here, too. Because we're going to be setting up another grapple system. Tech armor is good. Yeah, I want to try to get the tech armor at some point. I got to get a couple of these uh, crafted up. Because I only have... Yeah, one more. I actually have no ropes on me. remember how you craft rope. I thought it was with cloth. Maybe not. I don't think... Maybe you can't craft rope. Is that the only gun you get? No, you get plenty of guns. You get shotgun, crossbow... Well, crossbow's not a gun. You get a shotgun, a pistol. Um, those are the two guns I know of so far, but you get compound bow, crossbow. It was a really nice rope spot. I've, I gotta mark it with a GPS locator at some point. So how many uh, of these do I have? Seven. So we'll roll with that for right now. Let's get that good sleep. Head out in the morning. We should be able to get back to base in, like, literally the blink of an eye. So let's drink out of our canteen. stay here I mean we could but what's the fun in that because you can't really build or store anything down here I don't even know if you can build in the undergrounds oh shit you can like, I, I, I mean, if, I guess if you actually wanted to live down here, you could. There it is, chat. Winner has finally arrived. Can't bring logs down there. That's yes, true. For 
perfection, guys. It's perfect. it is I mean we did that in what not even a minute all right so we are gonna uh I'm gonna hang this meat really quick awesome Back to being cold again. Back to being cold again. I'm going to grab my ropes that I currently have. There's only two. That sucks. You see here. Some more skin pouches. Throw up some of these extra air tanks. stuff I guess doesn't really matter. No, keep one of the tarps on me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go set this paper target up actually. I wanna see uh what that's all about. Grab some of that. It's probably just a way for us to practice our aim, which I, I could actually use with the bow. Where is that in my inventory? There it is. Paper target. I'm gonna set it somewhere, a little ladder. Hope you are having fun. Great game, smiley face. Uh, Kenneth, thank you for the super chat. And Damo, Damo with the two months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate the love, guys. Uh, yeah, Kenneth, I'm then having a great time with this, brother. Definitely having a great time with this. We need something flat. We could probably... Should we just put it on our door, chat? <laughs> Sarah, shoot at our door. I don't think I do want to check, though. But we just want to make sure we don't shoot. We want to make sure we don't shoot our man right here when he's trying to, like, come out. Uh, we'll have him go get...
We'll get some more sticks, man. High? Way high. It's hard to find the aim point on this one. No, I want to... Damn it. So, since her head... I gotta aim about... at their stomach. Well, that one went kind of low. Mutant outside. Spikes are hurting them. Your compound bow hits pretty hard, man. Coward brother with the five gifted, man. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, everybody who receives one of those memberships, welcome to the family. Coward brother, you're out here showing mega love. I appreciate you, brother. Can you ADS with the bow? There is no, like, sight on this bow, at least right now. I, I, I don't know if you can attach one. Okay, so... Buddy over there. Got him. <laughs> Sucks to suck, dude. Rearm our trap. Alright, so we're gonna be connecting our zip line to this piece here. Couple of those freaking bounced off because of the armor. I didn't. I, I thought I seen the armor. I didn't know it was mutant on his chest, though. I should have known it was mutant on his chest. All right. So let's see here. Um, let's grab a log. We're gonna. Had to be done, chat. He would have—he would have done the same to me. You know what I mean?
Put him right center mass. Kill this mutant. I would love to get the zip line up on that cliff side there. It's our original, our, our origin point. Then I'm gonna have a, we're gonna have a bullshit of a time trying to um, zip further inland with all the trees. I was thinking about maybe doing it across the way there on the ridge and then zipping more this way. That ridge line looks like I can get a straight shot through this clearing. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do instead. Uh, so you can actually change how long the seasons last for. I have mine on default, which I'd say probably like in game every like I don't know 10 or so days you'll change a season uh yeah uh -oh. hop down here and we'll shoot up at it Uh, but you can change it to realistic, which I don't I don't even know how long realistic is. Uh, but you can change it to realistic. You can change it to long, normal, or I believe short. Or low, something like that. to work out better. In my opinion, I think it's going to be better. Virginia is still alive. We're actually going to be going near where she is currently. She's went up here and then she just stayed up there. Um, she's right near the actual uh, place I'm trying to get to. So I'm hoping that that zip line gun might have to get rid of these three trees here. And then I'll be able to zip across the field. We'll just get rid of this tree and that tree and we should be able to zip right across. Snow falling out the damn tree. logs or stumps
We're gonna be getting close to max. I'm gonna connect down here and then we'll uh we'll walk it up and see if I can extend it a little bit. I wanna try to get as much out of this as I can. Army Gale, there it is. Thank you so much for the gifted. I really appreciate you. Whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. How do you find winter clothes? Uh, you find clothes all over the map. Um I don't even I think the clothes I'm wearing right now are relatively good for cold weather. Uh there's different outfits. They all have their their specialties. There's even like a diving wetsuit that makes you swim really fast in the water because you have fins. Hopefully this isn't too far. So that one's good. Now we got to figure out where we want to go from here. Because this is going to be the... Okay, so we got to go that way. This is going to be the rough part. Um, it's because it's going to require some deforestation in order to get the... Well, so I guess it's not too thick, right? I don't know if you would smash into the tree or face through it. Some more nine millimeter. Ooh, nice. Kind of lost. Well, okay, I could still see it. So we're gonna set up zip line right here. Okay, 
think we're good. We got right there to our right. Back. Yeah, he was half an inch, half inch in my log, dude. <laughs> Gotta get your Sam Fisher on at some point, chat. So I could do one more zip. I got to find some more rope while we're out here. Way up this way. Yeah, they see these ones are gonna be a little harder to do. Now the good thing is this, this is like it's got some elevation to it. Ugh. <sighs> 
Alright, so this might be far enough for us to do our next one. We've tried showing them mercy in the past, guys. Didn't work out well for us. Yeah, they, they effed us over. Big time. Try to be nice. Tell, try to show mercy. Literally just spit in our face. There we go. So I gotta get some more, um... Rope before we continue this. I know there was a bear, like a mass grave over here somewhere that had um, a bunch of rope at it. Let's see what Virginia's doing over here, though. Been over here for a really long time. You like staying at one of my damn campsites out, out here. Shit, that's a camp. Cannibal camp. Look at our damn Sam Fisher on, baby. Virginia. She's running down this way. Those guys got a lot of armor on. Oh, shit. That's not Virginia. There she is. Virginia, where's the, the... Where's the gun I gave you? There it is. Shoot it! Nailed him. We're surrounded, Virginia. Do your thing. No, don't run. No. Nail him. Got him. <laughs> Behind you. <laughs> uh. 
Ready? Come on, this way. Jay, it's gonna be getting dark out here soon. We gotta go, lady. Come on. They tied that up? <laughs> Guys, they tied up live mutants. What the fuck? Shoot him again, shoot him again, shoot him again. I don't want to waste my bullets. Got him. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. We're here for some rope, baby. It's getting really, really dark out, though. But yeah, look, they tied up mutants. Hard to spot loot in the wintertime because of the snow. Nice, I actually got some crossbow bolts. Tape. More rope. I'm gonna start knocking down the fence. Bob with the super chat, brother. Click your mouse wheel to zoom in and out on your GPS BTW. Yeah, yeah, I was doing that. I was doing that uh, the other day. I appreciate the love, Ed. Yeah, we got a good bit of rope here, which is exactly what we needed to complete our zip line. Awesome, miss. Okay, it's very, very, very dark out right now. Let me see. Um, I got a shelter literally right here.
definitely issues. They're probably not going to even let me sleep. I thought I had a shelter here. I don't fucking see it. Could just build another one, but... They might have broke it down. AF. There she is. All I got to eat is an MRE. We'll save that for the morning. Where we're going actually has a bunch of... Maybe she'll watch our back. Gotta get some sleep again. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're gonna go ahead, eat our MRE. You know what? We'll actually, yeah, we'll open up this can of food too. Yeah, you gotta find the can opener. Uh, and then you can open uh, canned foods. Alright, so our canteen is completely empty. We are gonna have to get ourselves some, uh... Get him, Virginia. Get him, get him, get him. I gotta remember where. Okay, so we're trying to head to. That point. 
I gotta refine where we uh, left off with the zip lines, guys. I think it was up here. Now that ah! I, now that I have more rope. Get my crafted music, man. I'm not giving her my shoddy. That's all I got left. I should probably actually go get an extra shoddy at some point. It's actually not far from where we are. You know what? Yeah, I'll give her the shotgun. Why not? Hey, hey, hey. Got something for you. We, yeah, where the shotgun is currently located is, uh... <laughs> what, she can use both guns at the same time? So this is our open field. Just splashed him, chat. Splashing him. This is our field here. Yep, there's our zip line. There's our zip line. Follow this one up. She's ridiculously good with that damn gun. So many cannibals in these woods right here, man. I feel bad for any of you guys that spawn in this area. Like, it is jam-packed with cannibals. Okay, so this is where we left off. Yep, awesome. Alright, so now, we gotta head up this way. So we're definitely gonna have to do some deforestation for this one. to the angle here, I might actually have to zip line there. See where I can line one of these bad boys up. 
But as you guys can see, it starts to go downhill right here. So we're gonna have to have a short line here. All good, though. And this one should be able to reach quite far. Thank you, man. Update Div 2 Tomorrow allow you to use credits in game 2 by season pass, and some new changes are gonna be put into the also update and stream. Oh, that's awesome. I'm actually I'm uh, probably gonna do Division 2 tomorrow. <sighs> I've got my shotgun, guys. Oh, there's a lot of them. Lost my freaking aiming point. If we can connect these two. That thing knows exactly where I am. up this way. I already know I'm going to have to cut this one. Please don't fall on my zip line. Please, please.
Oh shit! I don't know if I can travel this one. It looks uh looks a little sus with that tree there. Let me see. I think I'm gonna hit this tree. Okay, you just phase through it. Please don't hit me up, don't hit me. Good. Backing up straight. So I need to cut this so I can keep my aim point. So this took a lot of work, guys. It took a lot of work today, but I, I really, really think that it's uh, going to be extremely beneficial. Some of you guys might not think it's you know worth the the effort, but being able to fast travel around because this map is absolutely massive, it's clutch. Some of these damn trees out the way. Lost my way a little bit. We should have went straight that way. Actually, what I'm going to do right now. Straight up here. Exactly, and then later on I could just keep adding to the network and we'll be we'll be able to zip all over the map, you know what I mean? There we go. I'm going to add one more to this. Uh, I do want to thank you guys for almost a thousand likes on the stream. I really appreciate it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's probably other content creators who have been making zipline awesomeness.
my my building is probably very lackluster in comparison. I don't know. I think it's cool though. Now we're here. So the reason why I wanted to definitely come back to this one a lot is this cave here is the cave where you get the, or not cave, um, it's the underground bunker where you, you can get food out of here and crossbow bolts. And crossbow is one of my favorite weapons in the game. Like hands down, one of my favorite weapons in the game. Um, sorry guys, absolutely starving. My wife brought me this delicious like salad. I need to take a bite of it. There it is. Um, I've been a good. I, I've been around the map. There's actually a lot of the map I still have not been to yet. Um, I'm not in like a super rush to like finish the game. Like you know, like hurry up and beat it. So that's why you see me taking my time exploring, building up. Yeah, this is where we can get the bolts from. And then once you get the key card, you can open that door there. And uh, that gets you to more bolts. And as you can see, you get a lot of food in here. Crossbow killer came through here. So I'm going to make like two trips because uh, you can get a lot of bolts in this place. And I already know I'm not going to be able to fill my inventory on my first time in. I'm going to fill my inventory and. We'll go back home. We'll drop. And we'll come back. There's the actual crossbow itself. I already got one. We pull on bolts. Yeah, I think we got the key card for this one. Uh, shit, uh, when was that, chat? Was I think it was the episode before last. We got the key card, and I used it last episode. Um, but th I, there is still one more um, underground bunker that has access, or it has a key card that I uh, haven't gotten into yet. We're going to be opening that at some point. Yeah, I want to make a bunch of trips back and forth here to get these damn crossbow bolts, because my favorite... I gotta say, crossbow's probably my favorite weapon in the game. It's so good. Now it's time to show off my fast travel. You ready? Let's count. Let's count and see how long it takes us to get back to base. So usually, heading back to base, um, 
I would say would probably take a good five minutes or so on foot. Here we go. There it is. And we're back already, guys. That is way faster. That's quick. That's really quick. And then you gotta remember, we also have our fast travel network going to the other one too. Uh, then I have, uh, you know, my, my one for getting logs. It is wicked safe, yeah. Well, it doesn't defy gravity because it has an ascender built into it. So uh, it's it's one of those things. I don't know if you ever seen the SWAT guys um, when they're outside of buildings, they'll 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 connect to like a um, a cable and they're able to go up, down, back and forth. They're able to move. Um, that's what it is that that he has attached on here. It's it's an ascender. You can see it in the is this thing. Any recommend recommendation for a home self-defense weapon? Um, I mean, it all depends on where you live and what you're allowed to have. Uh, like, I, I, I have, like, my, my go-to is just, like, a 45. I have a 1911. I got a couple other carry pistols, too, but those aren't really for my home defense. I like I like a bigger caliber gun. A lot of people like shotguns, small little uh, pistol grip shotguns. The Caltech the KSG is such a nice gun. Yeah, those are nice. They're so expensive though. But uh, honestly, What's, what, what would help you more than even a weapon in your house, believe it or not, um, dog. 
Get a big, big ass dog. Uh, statistically, dogs are actually uh, more prone to preventing robbers and shit from coming into your house than a person with a gun. Like, if you had a gun, because they know that the dog is there, and they don't, they don't want that smoke. So honestly, uh, yeah, if you, if you look it up, dogs are the number one deterrent. I mean, I, I, yeah, probably not no, like, little, like, Poodle or like cocker span. I have a great, I have a great Dane. My dog is absolutely massive, and he's a beast. He actually just freaking ripped the leg off a rabbit yesterday. I don't know how the hell he caught the damn thing, but yeah, he caught a rabbit and pulled its whole damn leg off. I'm like, what's in here? Fucking savage, bro. Crazy thing, the rabbit got away. <laughs> it just hopped away three legs. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if there's more crossbow bolts down here. I don't remember if there was more. Oh yeah, just having to beware of dogs. Yeah, because people don't mess with dogs. <laughs> You know, even if you don't have a dog, just say throw the sign up. They're not gonna go in your house to find out. I mean, if, if generally, uh, the problem with this, is, you know, most of the time that. People, when they rob your house, they know you. Uh, most of the people that rob you know you. The people that have been in your house, they know what you have. They know where your stuff is. Um, and those are generally the people that will rob you. So if you have a beware of dog sign up and your house gets robbed, it's probably because the person knew you actually didn't have a dog. It's the sad truth, you know. It's not too often that you just have random strangers who... Just break into your house, you know what I mean? So this was the bunker we came in last time, guys. Um, ooh, got some more slugs for the shoddy, which I gotta go dig up. Don't let me forget. We gotta dig up the shoddy. I gave it to Virginia, and I already know I'm gonna freaking forget. No, this is the bunker that we already came to. I'm just kind of going through and grabbing a little bit more loot. Oh, yeah. Weren't people telling me to check the tables in here that I was missing stuff? Like, some kind of... Unearthing ancient artifacts. <laughs> Digging monthly. <laughs> that sounds like a very interesting magazine. Oh, it's the names. Yep, this was Virginia's seat. Barbara. Edward Puffton. Hank Keys. So there's two people that aren't at the table. Um, Barbara. In Virginia. And a chair here also that's empty. Now as you guys seen, these were people at one time. They actually got turned. There's something to do with the damn artifacts, I'm pretty sure. We're on some, like, dead space level artifact. Alright, so I'm not gonna go down that way again. 
go back out the way we came in. I don't feel like going through that cave. Yeah, I don't know the name. I I I don't remember the dossier when I first came on the island. But two of those people were related. They had the same last name, so I don't know if they were husband and wife, son and you know. I I don't know. Could have been like mother and brother or whatever, you know. Gotta remember what underground. I'll check the map when we get out here. I gotta remember what underground part actually brought me to, uh... Or had the key card in it. I don't remember which one it was. This one doesn't have a 3D printer though, does it? Or a bed. All three people are related, uh, the parents. In Virginia, is their daughter? Did, did Virginia have the same last name? Puffton or whatever? Oh. I think I think you're right. I think I was. Yeah, they had the same last name, didn't they? How many arrows do I have on me? I got the one there. Okay. I don't have many bolts on me, so I'm actually gonna swap over to the bow and arrow for right now. Getting dark soon. My pride and joy. Really, Calvin? You're hopeless, bro. Um, the one that had the printer. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think that one had a keycard door. I think it was the other one that I went to. Because there there's two of them I've been to so far that had a 3D printer. I think it's the one that's a little bit more up north. I have Virginia's card, yep. I'd love it. So we are gonna have to get some freaking food done up again. Have Kelvin do some damn fishing.
When you get free time, put torches along the way. Yeah, that look that would look dope. Okay, so let me see here. Um So I believe it was that other one. So you see the one that I built zip lines to? I think it's the other one that had the key card access. We're going to get Kelvin inside here. I'm actually going to have him do some fishing. I only have two. Of, I only have two cards. I think the other card we got was... Was that Barbara's card? So I have Virginia's card and Carl. Right, let me look at making some new armor here. Uh, we'll go with this and... So we're going to make some stealth armor. that you can like overstock it and then like crap a bunch of them. Does it made to seem like he's going faster? <laughs> We should be super invisible now. Well, we got our we got our damn ghillie suit on. The stuff drying out. Kelvin is such a good fisher. Honestly, I, 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 as much as I love it, I do feel like they probably should nerf him a little bit. Like, he can get a fish. I don't know. Probably what? Two fish every minute? It should at least take him two to three minutes to get a fish. In my opinion. Because, yeah, when you have Kelvin, you don't even got to worry about, for, like, getting food. Majors, brother, with a five gifted man. Thank you so much, brother. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam.
I mean, it seems like he's actually taking a little longer than he was. In the summertime, at least. He's a beast at fishing. Maybe it's a maybe it's based off difficulty too, Chet. Because I also I also am playing on a low level of difficulty. So maybe if you play on a higher level of difficulty, maybe he doesn't get as much fish. Nah, he won't hang him up. Nope. Oh, but D-Majors again. I really appreciate it, brother. I'm playing on normal. Yeah, we're playing on normal difficulty, not low. So everything you guys are seeing, this is normal difficulty, which actually I was surprised because if you play the regular, the first Forest game on normal, um, I barely had to deal with any of the enemies. I barely had people, the, the cannibals attack my base. It was, it was actually quite crazy. Um... And then I went ahead and on this game on normal, you're, you you have to deal a lot with the uh, cannibals and mutants and stuff. Uh, and I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel too. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, so this is our last fish we need, and then all of our storages are full. Oh, no. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter. You can eat raw fish. It doesn't really hurt you. Okay, so let's head out. Um, it's early in the morning. We're going to head up to that other location. There's anything else I want to store. The inventory's got space to pick stuff up. We're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, shotgun, shotgun. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. Where was that? In reference to... It actually is a little bit of a walk. Talking about the 3D printer room? I, I mean we can go back there. I, I don't recall there being a key card in that in that one though. It was just like a, a hallway that led to like uh, a, a maintenance area and that was it. I remember the other one specifically having a uh, having a hall like you had to go out, you had to go in between like this little thing, you came out into this like long lit up hallway thing. Um, and there was a key card at the end of that. I, I did indeed used to play everything on hard mode, Gatsby. But the only issue with it was uh, my first time through playing everything on hard mode. Uh, the streams got very cringy, especially when I ran into... Um, just dying over and over again or not knowing how to play. I, I, so now when it comes to games I've never played before, I generally just approach it normal and then we'll increase the difficulty if it's too easy.
Yeah, so I believe this is where the shovel was. It's a big camp. The cringe was the best part. <laughs> The thing I notice about playing games on hard, though, is a lot of the viewers can't relate to it because, like, most people don't enjoy playing games on hard. Um, but I now understand why. You know what I mean? It is more of a. It, it's not as enjoyable of a, as an experience for most people. Now, if it's a game like, for instance, if I played State of Decay on like the lowest difficulty, I wouldn't have a great time. But um, I definitely see where. You know, hard mode on a lot of games isn't for everybody. This game, I'm definitely going to be playing on hard mode, though. We're going to be up in the difficulty for sure. Hmm. What's a few other graves here, too? Um, Lobbed a bunch of arrows into the abyss. It's all good, though. 3D printed arrows aren't super, super hard to come by. I'm not too bent out of shape. There's a couple other graves, too. So here's the one. Shotguns, I don't have one. Oh, I do have one. Never mind. we'll head out towards that other um, that other cave. I lost almost all my armor. These dudes uh, the stealth armor doesn't really um, protect you all that much. 
I, I, I did lose most of it in that fight. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, I I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing in the series too. I've been I've been having a blast, and like I said, there's a lot of things I want to test out and check out on this game, um, especially like the harder difficulties, adjusting the the uh, the seasons and stuff like that. Playing a more custom game. Uh, it's, uh, the game makes it really really easy to just survive in. Like, and enjoy yourself. Not, like, easy to survive in, but, like, you know, it's easy to just get, like, invested into it. I gave the other shotgun to Virginia. Yeah, I gave it to her. She was, she was killing shit with it. Unless she threw it up to me when I was on the zip line. Are there predators? I haven't seen any predatory animals yet. Um, but man, we don't. There's so many of those little like guys that are on all fours. You really don't need any damn predators. There's so many things I already want to kill you. Too bad our fast travel network doesn't come all the way this way, right? It was winter time also when we came up here last time. Switch this back to my I feel like the modern axe is just better than the firefighter axe in like every way. It's faster and it does more damage. The block is super good. There are sharks. Yes, there is sharks. That is for sure. Wolong Fallen Dusting? I've never even heard of that. Right, we'll cross here. My thing was I wanted to see how effective the um, stealth armor was.
more you do, see how much faster it gets? I'm rocking a full set of stealth armor here. Yeah, we're pretty invisible. Let's see if I have an outfit that's good at stealth, too. Jason with the four months with it. Thank you so much. Yeah, this game is awesome, man. Nobody here. Why is there so many speaker or radios? Crouched, yeah. Oh, full stealth suit on almost. We're, 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 we're pretty in this. I think she knew somebody was following her. <laughs> she peaced out. on the body. over there crying. I would, uh, yeah, I, I would destroy the tents, but yeah! I already forgot.
So what happens when you destroy the tents? I know you guys said that um, they don't respawn there anymore. <laughs> what do they rebuild? Is the location of the camps random? Like, can they randomly build those anywhere? Or they're set spots. Well, some of these seem random. He knows I'm here. I put a couple bullets on him so he didn't fucking kill me. Let's keep it moving. We're not going to waste any resources on this. I literally just shot like nine rounds of nine mil. The stealth armor is good. I, I I got seen um, before I went crouched. And then I just stayed in the same bush. <laughs> so he kind of walked up and then just walked right up on me. I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have a piece of creepy. And I think I have a little bit of stealth, too. All right, we are almost there. You know how much faster this would have been with, with our zipline system? <laughs> Covered this this distance in some two minutes. I knew I knew I heard something. Little guy around in the tree there. I don't hmm. Maybe this one is different. I think this was the one I was thinking of. Yep, yep, this is the one I was thinking of. The one with the long hallway with the... With the light. Crossbow bolts in here too. 
We got to get this place um, tied into the network somehow, guys. How hard do you think it would be? I mean, I can't even check it right now, but... We'd like to get this one tied into the network if possible. But now we got some of those good arrows. The carbon fiber ones. These things hit like trucks. Yeah, see, this was the area I was thinking of. Now, I don't know if my key card that I have opens this door. <laughs> yep, Carl's key card does open it. Jim? This is fucking huge, man. The suppressor is clutch, dude. I can now hunt the the mutants. And holy crap, this place is huge, man. This isn't like end game, right? I, I I didn't go to somewhere that's gonna like beat the game. I'm not ready to beat the game, chat. Oh, it's so clutch. Should 
should be able to get creepied out now. Yeah, I definitely need to get this place tied into our zipline network. Coming back and forth. Might, hopefully there's some good stuff in here. New outfit. So the compound bow is not hitting nowhere as near hard as hard as the crossbow. Turn this damn dude into a pincushion. a lot of shots, man. We got a drink. I'm gonna just pop one of the energy drinks we got. It'll kill two birds with one stone. At least the spa is still active, chat. Come and still get that ambiance. <laughs>
And this area is big as hell, isn't it? Looks like there's stairs to go up out there. We got pajamas. Got them PJs. The flashlight on your gun does not. Use I, I I don't have that flashlight anymore right now. Ed. Uh, yeah, freaking we lost it. Remember the 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 bug or whatever sucked up my uh, my attachments. But now I gotta try to get it back. So we got a pool we could swim in, chat? Nothing in here. The issue is out here, there's one of those big dudes, or the you guys have like two bodies. No, it wasn't Sausage Man, it was the other one, the, the one that I like side by side.
Uh, Nerdy Dragon with the six months. Hard in Survivor, brother. Thank you so much for the support, man. I hope you're having a great day. Yeah, don't let those dudes hit you in melee. They hit hard. What is this place? Is it like a spa or something? Underground hotel. It's definitely freaking fancy, I'll tell you what. Another key card door right there. Was this, uh, you know, he was he didn't get a happy ending. I'll tell you what, chap. Nothing happy about that ending. These dudes came here to make it rain. Must have been a bachelor party. Got another key card. Check this first key card door out here. Two different ways we can go.
show us what was behind door number two, and it was the wrong choice. So before I go that way, let's see what's behind door number one. <laughs> that must be the private room. Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Virginia's gonna get uh well that's that that's billions, right? That that's that's half a trillion dollars. Shotgun rail. Uh Marty with the A, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome to the family. I really appreciate that. So it seems like you can get the shotgun rail from two different locations, because that's my second one I got. Wait, where did my other shotgun rail go? Missing the guitar. Where is it? I didn't... So I'm the one that's stuck in the dude's face? Definitely not <laughs> getting that guitar out. Should be by the bar. Not that I can see. my inventory where the bows are. I don't have no guitar. I don't have any guitar. Good old double tap. I checked, guys. I didn't see no guitar. There's the guitar stuffed in this dude's mouth, but you can't take it. Checked around the room. Checked by the bar. I in the bar.
Didn't have anything in this back room. There was nothing in these booths other than the other key card. And some cash. A lot of blood. Nope. It's not here. It's not here. I don't know what accent that was. What did it sound like? This Aussie Jamaican. <laughs> oh, shit. Obviously, we hear some mutants. Let me check this way first, and then we'll go that way. Uh, Southern Game, thank you so much for the super chat, but I appreciate it. Uh, I did have a pistol uh, flashlight, but there's a bug right now where, like, your attachments just disappear off the guns, and that's what happened to mine. So I got to actually go way back in that cave, and it was actually not an easy cave to get into. Um, yeah, I got to go into it. that thing. Dude, I literally missed it by like half an inch. This looks like it's going into like a cave network. A letter for me. Thank you, thank you for the super chat, brother. I appreciate it. This is the exit? Okay, yeah, so I want to go the other way first. I hate when games do that. They have you branching things, but then you go out the exit first. And uh, again, I want to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. You guys are awesome. We got over 1,100 likes on the stream, too. That's super, super awesome. You guys are out here showing mega love. And I appreciate it. Let me get my crossbow back out. I 
Take out some kneecaps. Uh, George, I'm actually not sure what I'm playing next. Um, I was going to do the Division 2, but then I told that the, there's an update for the Division 2 tomorrow. So I might hold that for tomorrow. So. I'm going to have to kind of look over the list. Uh, Southern Game, thank you for. Uh, with another Super Chat, brother. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Nice, guys. Chainsaw, baby. Now we just uh, ascended to the next level of tree cutting. There it is. Got ourselves a damn chainsaw. We don't have any fuel, though. Oh, it's battery operated? Nice. I remember in the last game, uh, they were... It was f you needed actual fuel for it. really quick. So that's a circle. Drop down here, there's no going back up. You have three.
Okay, we're not far away from our uh, one of our zip line sites. It's not close, but it's not walking all the way back to base far. <laughs> so I don't know if that that specific one is worth tying into our zipline network. There was a good bit of cloth in the in the spa area, but it wasn't crazy crazy lucrative. Yeah, I gave Virginia, like, a camouflage outfit. I got her out of her that damn bathing suit. No, we gave her the camouflage outfit. Also, if you don't like the fact that the eventually these guys start wearing mega armor on their body, uh, you can actually change that in the settings. I don't mind, though, having to search for the weak spots. over here. AR, AI is really smart in this game. Nah, it's definitely not a ballerina outfit. It says swimsuit. Like, it's actually named Sim Swimsuit if you scroll over her uh, outfit. Well, as I appreciate them. I really do. Okay, we're almost there. We are way high up, though. Okay, you got a pretty good-sized camp down there. And there it is, 1.2k likes. You guys are awesome. Seriously, thank you so much. Almost, almost to our fast travel point, guys. We're almost there. One of the big red dudes here.
Now we get to showcase all our hard work at the beginning of the episode. There it is. Oh man, why are there so many of these guys out all of a sudden? Yeah, I got I got the chainsaw. We got the chainsaw, guys. Calvin, what's up, brother? What? this propped up for right now. There, so now we can tell him to stay here at shelter. Trying to see if I... I'm going to have to make some more... Uh, slots. But our... Uh, I feel like our selection is getting... Our storage is getting nice, guys. Getting nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to build some more shelves. I'm probably going to tear down this table. Um this chair and next episode we're gonna get maybe some shelving on that wall too that way we can have huge collections guys I, I, I was actually thinking about making another little outdoor like kind of just like a, a small like shed I, and I was gonna make that my armory uh, where I store all my bullets and stuff arrows and things like that and then I'll just have like supplies and shit in here I was thinking about making like a little armory shed. I don't right now they don't have any weapon holders in the game, right? Let me see. But I don't believe they have weapon holders. They have armor racks, yeah, but no. 
Yeah, they got the mannequins. But you can't put weapons on the mannequins, can you? Your Virginia's house looks like Walmart, and you let Kelvin sleep outside in a plastic bag on sticks. That's where Kelvin likes to be. He comes in sometimes, though. I mean, it's just this it's just Kelvin, you know what I mean? But there it is, guys. We're going to end this episode here. Um, we definitely got some good progress done today. We got the base fully secured. We got our zip line system set up. Uh, to two of the POIs. I got now all three of the green dots on this side of the map done, which are the underground bunkers. I have not been up that way yet. So that is actually like an unexplored part of the map. I have gone over there around um, when we were walking the beach, but that was it. I haven't really been searching up that way. So anything on the other side of that mountain, I've, I've never been or really in that mountain. So... Uh, we still got a lot more that we have to go and check and search and... Uh, like I said, no, we're going to be making some alterations to the base. I might get some shelves here on the wall, shelves here, and then we're going to put some shelves here. Um, I might just do, like, all my ammo on one side or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But there it is, guys. Thank you so much again. I, I really appreciate all the love, all the support that you guys have been showing this series. Uh, we got over 1200 likes that that's crazy big yeah you guys really don't understand how much that means all the new subscribers i really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel uh remember if you guys want to see more of this hey all you gotta do is smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new uh, it's the best way to let me know that you guys are enjoying this and uh other than that guys you have a great rest of your day and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one i'll be doing another stream here in a little bit not exactly sure what i'm gonna be playing i'm gonna eat and then i'll i'll figure that out but uh i'll see you i'll see you guys here in a little bit Peace.